Aloha, and welcome to paradise. Now that you have arrived, you are probably wondering, what's next? How can I make the most out of my trip and create the best memories that will last a lifetime? Well, wonder no more. I'll start by showing you five amazing lookouts that will unfold the beauty and majesty of Hawaii before your eyes. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a bonus. You will need a vehicle for this adventure. To be clear, I don't think you need a rental car for your entire trip to Hawaii, but it would be nice to have one for a day or two. Now let's dive right in. Your first destination on the list if you're coming from Waikiki is the Diamond Head Scenic Point, not to be confused with the Diamond Head Crater Hike. I have included a link of the Diamond Head Hike in the description. If you get an early start, you will see a great sunrise. But if you want to sleep in, that's totally fine. This scenic point has great views of the ocean and the Diamond Head Lighthouse. If you want to end your tour here, there's a beautiful beach right down the hill and you can watch surfers catch waves while you bask in the rays and enjoy the beautiful blue ocean. There are no roads that allow you to drive around the entire perimeter of the island, but there are five lookouts with picturesque views. If you decide to press on and continue after you have had a chance to soak up the scenery, just simply get back in your vehicle and head to the next location, which is the Halona Blowhole Lookout. While you're driving to the blowhole, you will see some beautiful homes in the neighborhood of Kahala. The Kahala Mall also has a Whole Foods if you want to grab some refreshments for your day trip. You will also pass one of the island's most popular tourist sites, Hanama Bay, which is an epic snorkeling location. This is a must-do tourist site on any visit to Oahu. The coral and the fish are mesmerizing. Now back to the blowhole. The blowhole is located on the southeast coast. It is a rock formation formed thousands of years ago from volcanic activity. On windy days when the tide is high, you can see water shooting up as high as 30 feet. This effect comes from water surging through the passages and blasting from the hole into the air. It is quite the sight to see. And if you're lucky, you may see a rainbow when the ocean water blasts from the hole. There's also a beach cove very close where you can see rare Hawaiian green sea turtles. This beach is called Cockroach Cove. If you are traveling to Hawaii between November and May, you might even see humpback whales. And if you are a movie buff, you may recognize this cozy beach from 50 First Dates and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. On this tour, you can spend as much time as you like exploring. After all, you are in paradise. Your next stop is the Makapu'u Lookout. But before you reach Makapu'u, you will pass Sandy Beach, which is a local favorite and can be very dangerous because of the strong currents that are responsible for a high percentage of spinal injuries. If you are a strong swimmer, this is an awesome place for body surfing. You can also boogie board and surf on this beach. Just be careful. Makapu'u means bulging eye in Hawaii. Makapu'u was named after a Tahitian god with eight bright eyes that lived in a cave in the area. Makapu'u is located on the southeastern tip of Oahu. From here, you will see Makapu'u Beach and Rabbit Island. You will observe a great view of the southeast shoreline and sea cliffs. This lookout will also give you a second and perhaps a better chance of seeing humpback whales if you are here during whale season. You will not be able to see the Makapu'u Lighthouse from this lookout, but we have you covered with drone footage in this video. If you really want to see the lighthouse, you can get a view of it from the Makapu'u Beach 
which is also another opportunity to end your tour and just relax on this awesome beach. If you're feeling more adventurous, the very popular Makapu'u hike is minutes away. For more details, see the link in the description. The Pali Lookout is next. The road to the Pali Lookout is a total change of scenery. You will pass Waimanalo Beach and drive through the charming town of Waimanalo. This town is where the old Magnum P.I. mansion is located. President Obama purchased this property and it is believed that he will live there. You will also see beautiful mountains and travel through a tunnel that you have likely seen on Hawaii Five-0 and Magnum P.I. This is the first lookout that does not have a beach close to it. It does, however, have a popular hike that is a little risky. People like this hike because there is a really cool hole or puka in the mountain that allows for an awesome selfie. This hike is called the Pali Puka Hike. I have included a link in the description. When you arrive at the Pali Lookout, you will experience strong winds as you stand on the stone terrace overlooking Kaneohe, Kailua, Coconut Island, Homalahia Botanical Garden, and the Kaneohe Marine Corps Base. I have also included a link for Homalahia in the description. Pali means cliffs in Hawaiian. The Pali Lookout is the site of an epic battle in 1795 when King Kamehameha won a battle uniting Oahu under his rule. This battle was fierce and resulted in hundreds of soldiers' deaths, many of which were forced off the cliffs. This tour can be done in any order you want, but there is a reason why Tantalus Lookout is the last on the list. This location is known for its marvelous views of the city at sunset. Tantalus also has two picnic areas with tables. This location offers panoramic views of Diamond Head and Pearl Harbor that you can enjoy from the big lawn with soft grass. It is also a great place to see a rainbow, but I would be surprised if you haven't already seen a rainbow during your tour. Tantalus is also the site of the first commercial macadamia nut plantation opened in the 1920s. This lookout opens at 7 a.m. and closes at 6.45 p.m. and is totally free, so enjoy. In fact, most of the lookouts are free. The only lookout that you will pay some money for is the Poly Lookout and you will need to pay for parking. As promised, the bonus view you can experience is located on a drive to the North Shore. You will need to travel the H1 West to the H2 North on Kamehameha Highway to Haleiwa Town. On this road, you will see a beautiful view of the North Shore and the old pineapple fields. The only downside is you will not be able to stop on the road. The road will be a two-lane road with very narrow shoulders. So you will need to live in the moment, but oh, what a moment it will be when you pass over the hills and you're greeted with the wonderful shoreline of ocean views. Enjoy the views as you travel along this scenic route. And lastly, for more amazing tips, things to do, places to visit, and restaurants to try, please hit that subscribe button and check out the rest of the channel for a comprehensive guide to your perfect Hawaii vacation. Aloha.